Do you want to learn machine learning and AI from one of the top programs in the world all for free? Well, you've come to the right place. Today, I'll share a complete AI and machine learning roadmap inspired by Berkeley's $7,900 professional certificate program, which is ranked among the top five by US News. And the best part is that I've curated a collection of free resources to guide you through the entire journey step by step. Let's skip the usual why AI is so important discussion. You're here because you already know. So let's dive straight into the good stuff. I'll walk you through the background essentials, prerequisites, and the career prep. Then we'll dive into the foundations of machine learning and AI, the key techniques and the advanced topic. And at the end, we'll talk about capstone projects. In my previous roadmap, based on the Stanford program, we focused on broader AI and machine learning topics. This new roadmap takes a slightly different approach, breaking down the machine learning topics into 24 smaller modules. And this means even more free resources and detailed steps for you to follow. And if you're here just for the roadmap, you can download it on my website all for free. But if you stick around, I'll explain how to use a roadmap effectively and share tips to avoid common pitfalls. Now, before jumping into AI and machine learning, let's cover what you need to know. Berkeley lists some prereqs, which includes educational background in STEM, which is pretty vague, so whatever that means. They also say proficiency in Python, R, and SQL. You would want to start with Python. It's the most widely used language for machine learning jobs. I've explained more about why you should learn Python in my other video, the top 10 machine learning skills. I'll link it somewhere. Now, if you're aiming for data analyst or business analyst, R would be a good option for you. But honestly, if you want to become an analyst, you don't need to understand the full machine learning. I do have another roadmap for data science, which may be a better fit for you. SQL is a must-have skill for anyone who's planning to work with data. They also list statistics and calculus, and these are essential for understanding how machine learning works. So you don't want to skip this step. I've linked some great free classes to help you get started. And I'm explaining this because depending on the career goal and the roles that you're applying for, you want to focus on learning the right concepts and the tools and the languages to target the roles. And don't worry, throughout the video, I'll explain to you which sections are relevant for which roles. Next, let's talk about career preparation. Learning to code and landing a job are two completely different things. First step to landing a job is to build technical skills, which is about learning the concepts and gaining hands-on experience by working on projects. Now, job hunting, on the other hand, requires other skills like building a strong resume and interview prep. The large portion of what's included as part of your tuition with the Berkeley program is the career preparation help that they provide. But good news for you, you don't have to pay all that money. I have lots of free resources linked here. For example, I host a free monthly LinkedIn live Q&A where I answer career-related questions from everyone in the audience. After the Stanford roadmap, I got a lot of requests from people wanting a space to share their journey. So I created a free LinkedIn private group called Achieve Together with EXA, where you can connect with like-minded people for accountability and support while following this roadmap. So I hope to see you there. In module one, we'll learn the basics of machine learning. Then we'll dive into the key statistics concepts like mean, variance, and probability distributions. These are essentials for evaluating models and making decisions. You'll also learn introduction to data analytics. You'll be hands-on with data collection, cleaning, and preparation, and use tools like pandas and matplot library to clean, prepare, and visualize data. Each module will build on the last, preparing you for your first hands-on project. You can use the project ideas in the roadmap itself or come up with your own. I'll share more tips for capstone projects in the last section. So for now, let's dive into the techniques that every AI and machine learning engineer should know. In this section, we'll cover concepts like clustering, principal component analysis, regression, feature engineering, handling overfitting, model selection, regularization, time series analysis, and forecasting. If this feels a little overwhelming, don't worry. It's all broken down step by step in the roadmap. And for those aiming for advanced machine learning roles, the second part of this section covers concepts like logistic regression, decision trees, gradient descent, 
optimizing models. Now, if you're really ready to elevate your skills, it's time to explore the advanced topics. These will deepen your understanding of machine learning and AI and get you ready for more complex projects. So topics like natural language processing, recommendation system, ensemble method, deep neural network, and generative AI. That said, these topics are optional depending on your career goals again. So for example, if you're pursuing roles like data scientists or data analysts, these advanced ML topics may not be a strong requirement, but understanding them can give you an edge. If you are aiming to become a machine learning engineer, these advanced topics can be relevant, but you don't need to master every single one of the topics right away. You can pick and choose the ones that are most aligned with your career goals and the roles you're interested in. So for example, if you want to work as a machine learning engineer at a company like Netflix, where you work on recommendation systems, then you would want to master the recommendation systems and so on. Okay, after mastering the machine learning topics, Finally, you're ready for the capstone project. This is your chance to apply everything you've learned and showcase your skills. If you're not sure what is a good capstone project, your ultimate goal could be to get your projects to publishable quality for submission to conferences or journals like the ICML and your IPS. And for inspiration, you can look up Stanford's past class projects for ideas. If you are serious about diving deeper, reading research papers, is a great way to stay on top of the latest developments. I'll link the four platforms where you can find the most cutting edge research on AI and machine learning. These resources will help you expand your knowledge and keep you ahead in the field. Plus, if you're not sure how to tackle these papers, I also have a video on how to read research papers so you can go check it out. And I've also included the project ideas from Berkeley. But even with all these ideas, if you're unsure how to get started, you can use ChatGPT to help you outline a project plan or brainstorm ideas with it. I've also included my ChatGPT prompt to get you started. Now, if you want to learn more about what you would actually do as an AI or machine learning engineer and how the two jobs are different, you want to watch this video. Otherwise, YouTube thinks you should watch this next. So I'll see you there.